Hello, I'm Dr. Priyanka Reddy, General Pediatric Consultant, Rainbow Hospitals. Another very important, always a worrisome concept in a pediatric health is adenoids. Adenoids are otherwise supposed to be very important policeman tissue of our body to understand them in layman terminology and very strategically their location and their growth enables a child to stay disease free. As we understand one of the commonest biggest entry points into any human being is the nose and the mouth. Hence nature has strategically located adenoids on the posterior end of the nasal cavity and it grows and differentiates to enable the child growth and uh, exposure to these antigens and learning out of those antigens very uh, plant wise. Now so what happens from birth to six months of the age as and when the child is breathing and uh, feeding the adenoids get exposed to many outside elements and learn that those are the outsiders we should develop some protective tissue inside the body to prevent any reaction infection etc to them uh, throughout the life of the child. This is zero to six months. From six months to two years, based on what it has exposed, it develops two important structural functional sub areas called T and B cell areas. So it is just functionally aligning itself now, six months to two years. So till here, the structural difficulty because of the adenoid is not there. After two years, now based on the amount of what it has learned till two years, it understands to multiply in number, in shape, size, to enable the enmassing effect to prevent by the number concept rather than just by the function concept. Now, based on the amount of exposure the child had and will have throughout till six years of age and the epigenetic environment, nutritional environment, some genetic component of a child, adenoids growth at times may fall out of the line, causing the structural difficulty which typically parents of the adenoid problematic children will complain us about the snoring, difficulty in breathing, difficulty in eating or more so during the season that, that poses extra difficulty rather than a seasonal illness. Hence, now a pediatrician who understands all these concepts well, when they see the x-ray of a child, they will differentiate the X-ray structure of an adenoid into four stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four growth. At stage three and stage four growth, where typically the massing problem an adenoid could be causing, a, a pediatrician will make a right decision about what to when to handle it with a medical thing or when to go for removing it through surgically. Mostly that is around stage four. After six years the adenoid naturally decreases in its size because the rest of the lymphoid tissue of the body is growing to take care of the policeman function. So naturally till six years a pediatrician will balance it out in a way to protect your adenoid rather than remove it and even after 12 years also under the influence of many puberty hormones it still become very very fibrotic almost negligible in size to cause any problem. Hence your pediatrician will always take a right decision of medical management during this two to six years of age where the structural component could really be causing a problem to you. Uh, if a parent is not convinced with this and the worry of a parent at times will make them seek some pseudo-scientific procedures around it. Hence we made a point to declare it out so clearly to you that don't worry when we are dealing with it we are doing so scientifically so that we are doing the right thing.